Welcome back. In today's video, I am going to show you a form maker web application which can generate a code for you for your forms. You can simply set up the form and it will generate a code for you and you can easily deploy them. No need to make the forms by using a lot of tricks. Just use this web application and make your Google Forms and get data from your customer. So let's have a look this form. So first of all, the main thing about uh, our form setting. Uh, what, uh, whenever we create something, we give them a name. So let's give them a name. So I am just giving him a customer data record. Okay, customer data record in which sheet I want to save this data. I want to save this data in customer data sheet. Okay, this is the Google sheet name where you want to save the data. You just go here and create a new sheet by entering sheet dot new. So here's you will see the sheet one. So this means exactly the sheet data in which sheet you want to save the data. Okay, now you need to give the description. For example, this uh, form gets information from the uh, from the users from the users or customers okay you can add them I am just showing you the demo uh, this is a button uh, which a user press and uh, the data will be saved in our database okay so uh, proceed to send data okay so I give him a name now the second main thing in our form is comes the form style okay now the form style i will select the minimal and uh, elegant and bold and modern i select the modern okay what's the color theme you want to choose i just select this color and uh, rounded you want sharp rounded medium large pill okay i just select here medium button style i will select the 3d okay you can also select the gradient soft outline and whatever you want to do okay now come to the point the advanced setting so what here we can do we just uh, this is a optional and for example for example this is a sheet and uh, you already have its deployment link you need to go to your app script and you have the deployment link you can add here but if you don't have don't worry about that okay so if you want to add a email notification you can add the you can turn on the enable email notification in my form okay so where the notification of email become you need to enter that email so i just add here okay i just add here the email where i want to receive the email okay enable spreadsheet formatting apply formatting to your spreadsheet colors freezing and etc if you want you can turn on a auto create form submit trigger automatically set up trigger for form submissions if you want to turn on you can easily turn on okay form behavior show the uh, progress bar if you want the progress bar you can turn on simple captcha if you want to captcha you can turn on okay collect ip address and if you want to uh, collect the ip address you can select okay collect browser info limit submissions you can also limit the submissions and save partial responses you can easily which features you need to add you want to add okay now the main thing is that all the things the styles the settings we have done now the point is here is we need to add the form fields okay so first of all uh, we can you can see here the section divider hidden field signature and many things we have here i just select here the text input and enter the name okay so enter your okay so enter your name okay i just select here enter your name and uh, this is a required field if it's required you can turn on the required word and click on this add field so you can see here your form is created here and uh, the button you can see here this is a 3d we have selected here the 3d button so the button will be the 3d okay right good okay if you want to add a validation you can also add the validations here if you don't want to add validation you can hide them okay i just click on this and uh, select the email okay now i select the email and go below and uh, enter your email id okay now just click on this required field if you want and click on this add field so when you click on this add field i think 
uh, I will add a one more field to show you. Demo. You can add whatever you want to do. So this is a demo. I just show you the demo. Okay. So I will select the. Uh, you can see here the uh, drop down values. Okay. Select uh, the drop down. Okay. Select the drop down. I just select here. Okay. Select the drop down. Okay. Ah, uh, you can see here. Select. Okay. Now we select here. One is. Uh, uh dubai okay and you need to add a comma dubai india you need to add a comma and Canada. okay and you can click on this add field so when you click on this add field now you can able to see here in the drop down you have this okay so if you add a uh, one more field and that field is that the check boxes again the same fields is check box okay is the check box here and uh, select the check box okay and here's the box is uh, yes and no okay and click on this add field so when you click on this add field right now you can able to see the check boxes come here so here's we need to add the select the drop down okay that's fantastic so now your form is ready and you can see here you can add more many fields uh, like the password file upload time website url color picker range slider uh, rating stars if you want to add a rating star you can uh, rate us you can uh, rate us okay and click on this add field so when you click on this add field as of now you can able to see here a star comes here okay now if you want to click on this add more field and select the uh, signature so you can see here this is a signature i just add here the signature and i click on this uh, make signature okay i click on this make signature and click on this add field so as of now you can able to see this is a signature pad will be disappear here so when you click on this test form so you can see here this is your form which you have created and you can easily close preview and click on this generate code so when you click on this generate code your code is generated so this is a your google app script code you just copy this code and uh, go to uh, your browser and create a new sheet with name anything a uh, new form okay and uh, just come here and paste your code in your code.js okay when you add the code in your code.js okay so just click on this save button so when you click on this save button as of now you can able to see this will be the save now just click on this deploy and click on this new deployment and click on this setting and click on this web app make it for anyone and click on this deploy so when you click on this deploy as of now you can able to see it will deploy the url it will need a, a access to your account you just click on this and when you click on this just click on this advanced and click on this uh, project until project title okay and click on this allow so when you click on this allow it will uh, complete the setup so when it will complete the setup it will give you a link you just copy that particular link and uh, go to your setup and uh, update the script url just paste it and click on this update url now url will be updated copy full code go to your any website where you want to host okay i just uh, make a new file here a uh, demo.html okay so i will just save here create file okay and paste my code and click on this save and press and I just stop this and again I just run them on the web chrome browser so this is our form which we have created we just enter our name for example this means we go to our sheet as of now uh, we just come here and uh, here's we need a functions so you can see here uh, validate save to the sheet setup sheet we just select here the setup sheet and click on this one so when I click on this run as of now you can see here the customer data we have added the sheet name so it will come here okay now come here and enter your email id for example i just add my email id here okay and uh, just select the drop down checkbox is yes rating is yes and the signature is yes and proceed to send data so when i click on this proceed to send data now my data will be saved here so this is our form which we have created by using uh, by using a custom code which we have which i have created for you 
you don't need to write the code you just go here and you have you have all the features and functionalities and you can easily make out that so when you connect it uh, it with uh, your uh, google sheet so you can see here after submission it will show you again you can resubmit the data and sometimes it not show sure due to cache memory so you need to refresh the url okay so this url you can easily add in your wordpress and your blogger in your github anywhere you want to add this code you can easily add out this code so i hope you really like this uh, hard work uh, of me so we thank you very much for your supporting to make me this uh, today what i am just for you so we thank you very much take care allah peace